Hey everybody, welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. It's Kelsey and Shelby here. And today we are bringing you another great holiday recipe. So one of my favorite holiday recipes around Christmas time is green bean casserole. But a lot of times that can be a pretty heavy mm -hmm. side dish, you know, loaded with fat and calories. So we're gonna bring you a great recipe that will show you how you can lighten up that holiday green bean casserole. Before we get started, we wanted to remind you that we are having a free nutrition class tomorrow here at the Health Park. Um, it is about planning for a healthy new year. We know that with um, 2019 approaching, all of us wanna kinda get in to maybe that resolution that we have in mind and get into that new year. So that is gonna be at two different class sessions. The first one is gonna be at 9.30 in the morning, the second one at 5.30 in the evening. All you have to do is call the Health Park front desk to sign up because space is limited. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and let Shelby get into our green bean recipe. All right, so you might be able to hear it over here, but we are currently sauteing some mushrooms. And that is one of our steps in this green bean casserole. It's pretty simple, but I have done a little bit of prep beforehand. I went ahead and sauteed our onions. This is about a half of an onion that was finely chopped. And I blanched our green beans. So green beans are a great option because they're a non-starchy vegetable. Bring some green to your healthy holiday. So that's all we had to do beforehand. And now we're cooking up our mushrooms. But they're looking pretty good. So I'm going to add back in our sauteed onion and turn down the heat. This is going to be a great base and we're actually going to make this um, a little bit thicker by adding a slurry. So a slurry is a liquid mixed with cornstarch. We're going to do that with three fourths a cup of corn or not corn stock, chicken stock and two teaspoons of corn starch. We're just going to mix that together till it's nice and mixed. And we're going to add that in to our onions and our mushrooms. Now that's a great way to thicken. There are several ways in cooking to thicken and using this cornstarch is going to start to thicken up our gravy. So this is a great alternative to that. Usually we use some creamy soups or something like that. Typically, they're going to add some extra calories and fat into your green bean casserole. So this is going to add a lot less, but still have tons of flavor. So we can see things starting to thicken up. As they thicken up, we're going to add in the rest. So I'm just going to turn it up a little bit more. So next, we're going to add in our green beans. Just throw them right into the mix. And it's very, very fragrant. You can smell those mushrooms. Get everything mixed together here. Kelsey, are you ready to taste test? I'm ready. We're about there. We've got a final ingredient that you might not expect. Some Greek yogurt. So this adds that final creaminess, a lot of good flavor into this recipe too. And it's no fat, right? So it's a low fat dairy option it's gonna limit the fat in this recipe as well. So we're just gonna mix all of this together. And remember to add this Greek yogurt at the end because you don't want that Greek yogurt to curdle since it is dairy. All right. While we're mixing, Kelsey, would you mind to just get a pinch of that salt and pepper here mm -hmm. and throw it into the mix as well. Thank you. And you can just add as much as you want to this recipe. Some other tasty things that would go well in this recipe, maybe some slivered almonds or something like that. All right. And I'm just going to finish mixing it up. But Kelsey, why don't you go in and try this? And it smells really good. I can really good. smell the onions and the, the mushrooms. Oh, yeah. I love mushrooms. Me too. Great way to get an extra veggie in. Mm -hmm. Good, so we really like it. Good. Mm -hmm. Awesome, a cool alternative to your typical. It's great, you wanna serve this warm, so go ahead and make it just right before you see everybody at um, Christmas, but definitely give it a try. Don't forget if you try our recipes to comment below, and if you wanna find our recipes and any other recipes that we've made on old videos, you can always find that on our website, owensborohealth.org nutrition. 
and we hope to see you guys next Wellness Wednesday, your place to get well one bite at a time.